Hello science friends, this is Justin Higgins with Minutes of Teaching. In this video, we are going to learn about the difference between static friction and fluid friction, and we're going to demonstrate that by making a hovercraft out of a CD. So we're going to take a book, and we're going to put a piece of poster board right here. And we're going to throw the CD on the poster board. The CD doesn't move because of a type of friction. But once we turn it into a hovercraft, it's going to zip on down this board because the static friction, which is keeping this from moving right now, is much, much more than the fluid friction of air, also sometimes known as air friction. You'll need a CD, some tape, a pair of scissors, a balloon, and you're going to need one of those bottles that has one of these push tops because you're going to want to make a hovercraft that you can remove the top on and then blow the balloon back up with. Take the bottle and go ahead and cut the bottle in the middle. It may be easier to cut the bottle in the middle first. Then cut up along the bottle until you kind of get near the part where it starts to get really thick on the bottle. And we're going to just part, cut a bunch of slivers of plastic up that bottle. And then we're going to bend them out. And we're going to make a little plastic looking flower with what is left of our bottle. So we've got this kind of flower looking deal. Now we don't need this extra mass on our hovercraft, so we'll just go ahead and cut about two centimeters worth of the plastic flower. So that's all that we have left around the edges. Just kind of, we're going to throw those away. So we're just going to kind of push them off to the side for right now. Now you can see where the top of your bottle is going to go now. It's going to go on the center of the CD so that the hole goes out through the hole. Now you need to get a good seal around the edges of your CD, so we're going to use a lot of tape to seal this CD and seal the top so that we don't lose any air from our balloon where we don't need it. Because we want all of our air to come out the bottom of the hovercraft so that it will easily move and demonstrate fluid friction. Now sometimes people will call it air friction, but fluid friction is a general term that works for both gases and liquids. And so the correct scientific term, if you were to discuss something moving through a rarefied medium, kind of like the air that we swim around with on the surface of the earth. So the correct term would be the fluid friction of the air. But they're the same thing. So if you said air friction to someone that was monitoring your progress, particularly maybe for this course, air friction would be accepted as well. All right, so we've got our CD really well taped down. Now, when we put the balloon and stuff on top, if we hear any hissing on the outside, we may have to put some more tape on, but you know, tape's cheap, so that's fine. Now I'm using eight inch balloons, and the reason that I use eight inch balloons is so that it, it doesn't fall over with the balloon on top later when I wanna use it. Stretch out the balloon, and for small fingers, this can be quite a challenge, so if you're doing this with youngsters, Go ahead and do it for them and put it on top of this. So now we have the ability to blow up our balloon and then seal it and then screw it back on. And then we made our, our CD hovercraft. Blow up your balloon. And I usually seal the cap by pressing it against my teeth. It's up to you whether you want to do that. Just be careful that you don't hit your gums. That could hurt. Screw your cap back on the CD that we created before. And there you go. You got a CD hovercraft ready to go. So I have my incline plane. I set my 
CD hovercraft on, on it, and I release the valve. And the CD moves. Hmm. When the CD sits by itself, it doesn't move really well because static friction is acting against the surface of the CD like little tiny ridges appearing between the surface of the table and the surface of the CD. But when air is passing between the balloon and the table, those ridges are no longer touching each other and the resisting force of fluid friction, sometimes called air friction, is much less than the static friction allowing the CD hovercraft to move. Thank you for watching. Remember, science is in everything.